Switch. What are you doing here? I put a tracking app on your smart Alex when you let me download that video of Bowers. Serves me right for trusting a cop. You've been tailing me ever since? No. I wanted to trust you, I really did. But you're a suspect in some unsolved cases, and I thought, possibly and quite likely, you'd go back to your old MO at some point. Tex Murphy, you're under arrest. You're arresting me? For what? For the murder of Jim Slade and another as yet unidentified male. I didn't have anything to do the with The bodies were thrown from Coit Tower, and we have witnesses that saw you leave the scene immediately after. Now that I can explain. I, I understand Slade was a very bad man, and probably deserved it. But I told you before, I won't tolerate vigilanteism. Maybe it's not a perfect world, but it's the best I've got. I might have been somebody else over the past seven years, but I'm ready to leave that behind me. I've been given a second chance, and I intend to make the most of it. I sense this is just the beginning of something bigger, and what comes next may not be easy. But then again, what is?
interrupt your programming here at New San Francisco Voice Channel 6 for an urgent bullet. A tragedy in our fair metropolis today is all three members of the Knights Templar without a K have been found murdered in the sewers near Telegraph Hill. The images we're about to show are graphic and may be upsetting to some viewers. This trio of self-proclaimed superheroes have, according to their blogs, been protecting our city from the forces of darkness and, indeed, violent crime is down almost half a percent putting our crime rate only slightly higher than Syria. Recent tweets from the victims describe battles against an invading army of Morlocks, the fictional characters from H.G. Wells' time machine. When asked to comment on the slain crusaders, one police officer at the scene said, quote, hell, they probably killed each other on accident. So while we may not have witnessed the gallant exploits of these stealthy vigilantes, or even once experienced the terror and destruction of demon spawn, it is with a heavy heart that we here at the New San Francisco Voice say to the Knights Templar without a K, thank you. Now back to your regularly scheduled program.